now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. In today's video we're gonna take a closer look to my title effect number 41 that you can get for free from my coffee page. This is something else. This is a little end year giveaway guys, so hope you're gonna enjoy it. So once you get it from my coffee page, all you need to do is double click the TRFX file and uh, installation window should pop up. In my case, it's override. In your case, that will be install. And from effects, titles, cast your memories, search for action title number 41. Just drag it to the timeline like that. And this is how it looks by default in the inspector. You can, of course, change that text. So let me do it right now. For instance, Merry Christmas. But as you see, this is um, not looking properly because bear in mind that you need to put additional empty line after your text. Then the effect will look correctly. Okay. And the other issue you notice probably right now is that the text is not in the frame because it's too long. So in order to correct that, we got uh, the frame offset wheel here. And the best way to correct that is to keyframe this control. So right around here, where the text is actually revealing, I will create my first keyframe. And then somewhere at the end, I will frame it correctly, like so. And as you see, the second keyframe is created automatically. So if we play it, uh, it should end by revealing the whole text. So simple as that. So in case you got a longer text, you can overcome this issue like so. Uh, what you can change as well is of course the color. Let's say we want it to be red and the specular color. Let me set it to white. And you got the possibility to control intensity of the specular. So let's put it all the way up and you got spread U and spread V. Just play with it and see how it behaves. So let me leave it like that. Yeah, and the animation looks like so. Uh, you can enable also motion blur if you wish. Of course, this is transparent, so you can put anything beneath. For instance, from effects, you can go to generators and let's try maybe uh, comic speed lines. So just drag it underneath, change the color of the gradient, something like this maybe. You can go farther with that by adding a drop shadow. Drip shadow is um, a good idea in most of the cases. So go to effects, search for drop shadow. It will be under resolve effects. Just drag it and put it over the text. And, and as you see, we got a nice drop shadow effect. Hope you're gonna enjoy it. Hope you're gonna use it. You get it for free on my coffee page. Check out my bundle pack if you haven't already. Enjoy your Christmas and all the best in the upcoming new year. Cheers and see you in the next one.